the plumes have sufficient nutrients, they have sufficient oxygen, there is no problem right now with things living in this water. Um, in fact, the microorganisms seem to be very happy uh, in this water right now. They're, they're metabolizing it at quite rapid rates. All we've done is put an instrument with optical sensors down into these plumes. No one has seen these plumes with their eyeballs. The, the closest we've come to that is, is dropping a camera system into the plume. And right now, in terms of oxygen, they're perfectly habitable systems. But we don't know the oil content yet. And, and the oil content could certainly preclude organisms from wanting to be in this water. I honestly don't think we will understand this, the impact of these features for months. I mean, I think we could have ships out there making continuous measurements from now till December. And by March, we might have a good understanding of what's going on. It's not, it, it's complicated. It's, and it's not just biology. It's chemistry and physics and everything else. And um, it, it, it's, it's really tough to make sense of it looking at one component. It's got to be an integrative assessment. But I, I suspect that the deep sea implications of this spill are going to be um, comparable in terms of how the system is altered to, to some of the coastal impacts that you see. When you put oil on a salt marsh, it, it changes how the salt marsh functions.